The Human Skeleton How do humans move around? Without a skeleton, your body would be floppy and shapeless, like a blob of jelly. You wouldn't be able to stand up, sit down, run, or walk. Fortunately, the human body has a skeleton. It is made up of bones that work together with muscles to make movement possible. These bones also protect the body and keep its soft parts safe. Let's take a look at how parts of the human skeleton work to protect and support the body. Growing Bones Your bones grow as you grow. To grow healthy and strong, your bones need calcium and exercise. Milk, cheese, yogurt, and leafy green vegetables are high in calcium. Your body also needs vitamin D to help it absorb calcium. Try milk and cereals that have vitamin D added to them. What your bones protect. The ribs of the skeleton protect some of the body's most important organs. They form a cage that guards the heart and lungs. These ribs are connected to the sternum. The bones that make up the skull are some of the most important bones in your skeleton. The skull protects the brain. Without protection, even a small bump on the head might affect your thinking, senses, and movements. The jawbone is the only bone that moves. It also allows you to open your mouth and chew food. X-ray photo. In this x-ray photo, you can see how the ribs curve around the chest. Did you know there are 206 bones in an adult's skeleton? An adult has 12 pairs of ribs that curve around the sides of the chest. The 14 face bones are all part of the skull. The human skull protects the brain and four sense organs, the eyes, ears, nose, and tongue. The spine. Your spine holds your body upright when you sit, stand, or walk. It's also called the backbone, but it's not just one bone. The spine is made up of many small bones called vertebrae. Because each vertebrae can move, the spine is flexible. It allows us to bend in different directions. The vertebrae also protect the spinal cord. The spinal cord, which is inside the spine, contains nerves. These nerves carry information such as sensations from the body to the brain. They also carry commands from the brain to parts of the body. These gymnasts rely on their vertebrae for support. Movement in the spine. Humans walk on two legs, so the spine is vertical. Animals that walk on four legs have a spine that is horizontal. Many animals that swim, such as fish and whales, also have horizontal spines. Twisting and bending. The bones in your body are connected by joints. Joints allow your body to bend, twist, and turn. Some joints, like the ones in your knees and elbows, allow your bones to move forward and backward. These joints are called hinge joints. Other joints can move around in a circle. These are called ball and socket joints. There is a ball and socket joint between the first and second vertebrae in your neck. That is why you can twist your head in different directions. Ball and socket joints are also found in your shoulders and hips. Your bones at work. The longest and strongest bones in the human body are found in the legs. Leg bones carry your weight as you stand, walk, run, and jump. Humans move on two legs, which frees the arms to do other things. The many bones in your hands make it possible to pick a flower or hold tightly onto a rope. You can grasp and grip because you have opposable thumbs. This means the thumb can move freely and touch the tips of your fingers. Humans are able to do many things most animals cannot, such as using forks and knives or brushing one's teeth because of opposable thumbs. An opposable thumb helps humans hold many things. A runner uses different bones and joints to go from kneeling to running. 